hello there. As you may see, better turn that off. This is what we are going to be building today. It's a nice working shower that works every time you press the button to turn it on and off. So let's get to it. So now we are going to the barrel, which if you watch the other videos, then you'll know all about it because it's amazing. So these are all the items you need. Ten altogether. Again, like the last video, I couldn't be bothered to work out how many you needed. So let's get to the build. Ooh. So there's the build that we did last time for the last two episodes. That's the plot that we're going to go on. The blue outlines the walls and this tiny little bit here is for the redstone for the shower. And then this is for the shower room. You can have the bathroom. You can have a bath and a toilet and a sink in here which will probably be in another episode. So let's get building. So the walls will be three blocks high. So you don't bang your head on the mechanism of the shower. Your button will go next to the shower. That's way too close. Yeah, so the button will be next to the shower. So you once you get out of the shower, then you can turn it off. And to light up your bathroom nicely, you Get your sea lanterns and place it on the floor and then you put your slabs on top. This corner where the shower is going to be, I'd put a water bucket in the ground and basically cover that bit up so you can't really see the dirt and you get your trap door and place it on top so it's like a drain and then you put the glass on so it's like the outside of the shower so the redstone bit which for me is probably the trickiest part of the build I just destroyed the floor so you build around your walls and then you build up to where the, your dispenser is going to be, which would be here. Make sure the dispenser is facing down because you don't want water splurting out across the room because that would be hilarious if that happened. And then you just put your redstone dust along like that. Then you put your button where the hole was for the, so you knew where to put everything. Then you put your water bucket in the dispenser and you click the button and ta-da, there's your shower and it's working fine. If, and that's the redstone from above, you only need four pieces of redstone. So if you were to do this in survival mode then it's quite easy and it won't use up too much resources and you can put any sort of roof over the top i just do the same with the, as the walls like in most houses the ceilings similar color to the walls and then you just cover up the redstone which only works if it's like that um, so you can just have like a square on top, just so it doesn't look weird. And there is your shower room. 
that's just the support so the roof doesn't fall down. And so that's it really. Let's just destroy these because that's ugly on the side of the build. And yeah. So I've just installed this new shower into my bathroom and it's a little bit cramped but you can always extend it if you want just if you're in survival um if you break the glass then you won't get it back that's just the tough hard life of being in survival but anyway this is what the shower looks like in my house and it doesn't actually take up that much space about three blocks that's it so see you next time bye